Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 the Quicks 14 block as we continue to level 74 to 75 turning in some more quests here at the keep and we're getting ready to go ahead and pick up another quest and uh, do another quest. We, we had got that uh, totem that you remember in the last part in that crypt now we're going to go see if we can find make any sense of it. You want to go to the barracks which is up <coughs> excuse me, very, very near entrance of the uh, um, little uh, keep here it's not hard to find. You go down to the very bottom, and that's where you're going to find this. It goes through a little spiel, which is actually quite funny. <clears throat> We're going through that little spiel. Uh, he's going to do some stuff, and the power of the light compels you. It's just, it's funny. And I'm going to show you that in its entirety here, um, just because I think it's funny as hell. Uh, so, there is five parts, uh, of course, to, if you've noticed, to this thing. And the reason there's so many parts on this one is because. Um, unlike before, like I usually do, having run some quests or some other stuff between each blog post, this is straight from level 74 going to 75. There was no instance running. There was nothing. You're pretty much seeing everything as it happens. So we started from a pretty much like a 1% uh, XP, and now, of course, we're hitting 3 fourths. We're about 75% now. So you're going to be seeing the last quarter in these last two parts. Um, of course, this part and the next one. So, he gets him to talk, and he tells you about that, and then you have to go back and uh, report what your findings to uh, the uh, general, of course. And that'll pretty much do it for that quest. And then we're going to move on to uh, back to the Dragon Shires uh, before we mess around with anything more here in the keep, in Winterguard Keep. Um, mainly because there's a lot of quests to do for Winogard Keep, but we also want to make sure we do our Dragon Shard uh, quests as well, because they all kind of mix in together, so you can take it as you decide to go. So we're going to go ahead and turn that into the High Commander. Sorry. And uh, be done with that. Uh, as you notice, it's taking me a little longer to get through quest logs. Uh, that's because I'm actually reading it, because it's actually quite interesting. Uh, don't browse, don't just breeze through it, uh, you know. Go ahead and take your time to look into it. It's very interesting information. Go ahead and grab the next quest he gives you. And then go ahead and move on. So we're going to move on. Actually, to, we're going to move on to the Obsidian Dragon Shire, which is the black. And that's up north uh, west, actually, of the temple and of the Ruby Dragon Shire. Go ahead and make your way inside, and you'll find him. Go ahead and talk to him. You're going to have a series of quests here. Uh, about four or five, I think, total, give or take. Um, so go ahead and do that. Pick up the first two here. First two are very straightforward. Uh, one wants you to collapse, uh, you know, set up a trap for him, and the other one wants you to kill a certain amount of each type. So it kind of works together. So the first thing we're going to do is do this uh, no place to run quest here that we're picking up now to just place a destructive ward. Now, this one is really, really can be really really tough because you know everything that we've had to place down and protect we can usually just you know grab mobs off once especially if there's multiples and they'll stay on us um, you're gonna find on this one that that's not the case in fact I was very close to losing my uh, destructive ward yeah, because they kept switching back as you can see he keeps switching back so you really gotta keep the pressure on these guys thankfully it doesn't take too long um, do what you gotta do. I threw a hurricane down because I was just getting so mad. <laughs> and then there's the pulse. Uh, so, not too hard. Just keep the pressure on. Keep on there. Uh, other classes might have some issues with this. So, uh, getting uh, some help won't, wouldn't be that bad. Once it's done, that's it. You're finished. Go ahead and move on. Uh, you can't loot any of those guys, and uh, I don't believe they count towards your other goal either. But there's plenty of other of, of these guys to do out here. Uh, we have these Necrolites. Um, uh, nothing too horribly important to note about their attacking you. Um, they do do a uh, you know cast a buff on themselves to make the amplify their magic basically to do more damage or to be faster, one of the two, but otherwise not a big deal. The uh, Smoldering Skeletons, again, nothing horribly important to know about them, but they do have a little uh, burning fire around them that will uh, add damage to you periodically, as you can see here from my damage, uh, my scrolling damage text. But otherwise not too bad. You shouldn't have a problem taking them down whatsoever. 
once you're done with all both of those, go ahead and turn them in. And then you're going to go ahead and pick up another quest. He's going to give you a uh, disguise, if you will. And uh, it'll make everyone neutral. Very important that the disguise only lasts so long. And also, if you attack anything, it will break the disguise. So you shouldn't have a problem here as long as you just uh, do it. You want to turn around, head straight until you get all the way to the wall, then right. And that'll take you up the way you need to go. You're basically just scouting out here. And do your best to avoid them. You don't, you don't have to get near them. And you definitely don't want to attack them. Um, the easy way out is going to be back from here. You turn around, take a right, your first right, and then you go just go straight, and that'll do a little drop off, an easy way back. <clears throat> so now you know what's going on, you know what they're up to, and of course the obsidian dra uh, dragons, or the black dragons, are not very happy about it. So they want you to take care of it, and that's going to be the uh, sequence of the next two quests. And there's going to be one more after this quest as well. These are pretty straightforward quests. You've been through these before. It's just standard do this, kill that. Um, the respawn rate on these things are actually not that slow and not that fast. They're pretty average. You're going to find a lot of stuff that you kill is going to respawn pretty, pretty fairly quick. So you have to kill a certain amount of these necro, uh, not necrolites, but the uh, these skittering ones and, uh, or sorry, a, a geist and uh, a few other ones. We're going to show you each one there. Nothing important about the geist. Uh, they're fast. That's about it. So nothing horribly important to note about them. The necromancers are ranged and they do do like a channeling thing to attack you. So it's best to just close the gap, um, even though they'll continue doing it. Uh, it, it takes no mana apparently on them, but they go down pretty darn quick. Once you get close to a rune, just you use it and it'll, it'll stomp and it'll go away. And then finally we have the constructs. Um, the constructs do the most damage. They're going to be the ones that are going to hurt. They, uh, as you can see, now that for Geist, and he does do a little fire attack, a little kind of like an immolation thing on you uh, that does damage you periodically for a little bit. Otherwise, these guys are not hard. Simply kill the amounts you need of each type and uh, stomp out the uh, runes that you need to and go ahead and report back for your final quest for the Obsidian Dragonshire. Shouldn't have a problem here. Rinse and repeat, pretty much. Uh, so we go ahead and turn those in. And you get really good XP, as you can see here. You get in between 25 and 20,000 K per uh, quest, and of course you're getting some really serious gold. <laughs> gold spammers reported that. Um, so our final quest, basically going back to where that you know, we're doing the magna dragons. You throw that to uh, do that, and that'll activate our little friend over here, and you have to kill him. So as you can see, I'm here. I'm waiting because I'm, I'm just like trying to think, and then I realize, oh yeah, I have to kill him. So he is very ranged. Um, he's going to throw stuff at you. He will do this little uh, attack with his uh, staff there. He does those shadow bolts. Um, very standard stuff for a necromancer. Uh, the shadow flame is a little uh, damage over time. Honestly, not too bad, not too hard. He's not a lead or anything, so uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Once he's dead, you're finished that quest. You can go ahead and make your way out. Same way, do the short route. And go ahead and turn that in. You get a lot of gold and some good XP here, as well as some nice rewards if, if you need them. 26k, and you get your final quest from him to report back. So, that takes care of that. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Admiral Dragonshire, or the green. And we're gonna, our quest here is to uh, get these seeds from these slashers. Now, I will tell you right now, that the drop rate is not very nice on these slashers. Um, you're going to be uh, killing some slashers. You only need three, uh, three of these seeds from them. So, yeah, the, the drop rate is not very kind. You're going to be killing probably two to three times that amount just to get those three. The good news is, is that there is a... Uh, it's not quite as bad as some. And there is another quest to grab from down here. 
that you can go ahead and get actually a couple of them. We're only going to do one because I tried the second one and it, it's an elite quest, group quest that, uh, yeah, no fracking way you can do by yourself, at least not at this level. So we're going to pick that up and we're going to end with this part of the quest and turning it in. And, uh, and that'll be it for this part. As we go on to part five, we're going to finish up uh, turning in all of our Dragonshire quests and uh, things like that. Nothing important to note about these uh, owls here, emerald owls. So you just do that and then you're done. Can't skin them or anything. And then go ahead and turn it in. So we will see you in the final part, part five going through the last little bit, a little vehicle action coming up uh, that should be a little fun for you, and of course details on that uh, voting on the blog. See you in part 5.